Hello and welcome to Lost Love Chronicles. You are holding me back. I want to be more successful. I will divorce you and move out. Let's see what happens when Loren goes out on her marriage in search of professional success. Is it really profession or something sinister? We have crossed 1,600 subscribers and are now racing towards our first 2,000. Your one click to subscribe us would go a long way for us. Thanking you in advance. Now let's start with the story. I'm Leonardo, but everyone calls me Leo. I live in Las Vegas, and I run a small catering business that was handed down to me by my father. It's been quite a journey, especially considering my ex-wife Loren used to be a crucial part of the team, handling all things marketing and managing the operations and finances was my forte. We were married for a whopping 22 years, and together, we worked hard to grow the business to what it is today. These days, my 19-year-old son Donald is working alongside me, continuing the family tradition. My younger son, Ron, 14, is still in school. Ah, the classic love story in the halls of academia. Loren and I actually met in business school, and from the get-go, I was completely smitten by her. Those study sessions and shared lectures turned into something more, and a few years down the line, we found ourselves saying I do. You must be wondering, I had money, two amazing kids, I have a nice house, I look good, work out every day. How did I end up losing my wife? You see at times your success goes up to your head and makes you do things that you should never do. My father always used to tell me, son, no matter how high you can fly, you make your home on the ground. When Loren and I took over the business, it was not very profitable. We had to work hard to make it successful. She used to close all the deals and I used to ensure that everything she promises is delivered to the client. She had a team of five people to help her out. Her team used to get potential clients and I used to help her create a proposal for the client and she used to close the deal. She was always had her way with words and clients loved to interact with her. She used to dress elegantly and used to look sharp every day. I on the other hand used to dress normal as I had to work behind the scenes and had to get my hands dirty. I always used to ensure that we deliver what we promise. We became known throughout Vegas for our commitments. Money kept coming in and the business kept growing. Well, success did get into Lauren's head. Over a period of time, she became arrogant and at times unapproachable at work. I did speak to her at times, however, my concerns were dismissed. She still used to dress elegantly and now she used to look good at home as well. Although, I used to run the business, everything was still in my father's name. Legally, he still owned everything. He just did not bother about the money or anything else. He used to come to office occasionally and sit at the high chair and smoke a cigar and go back to his place. Over a period of time Loren at times did ask me to start dressing fine to office. I always used to tell her that I would just end up messing my clothes as I have to get hands dirty at times. She used to just roll her eyes and leave. I always used to take her out to dinner every time she complained and I always used to dress elegantly that night. Time passed and Loren got a bit flashier. I knew Vegas was getting flashy and she needs to upgrade as well. One fine day we were given an order to cater for a party at a nice hotel and we knew we had to be at our best. I was personally involved to ensure things are well managed. Loren was also helping manage things. The client was a rich man from Texas. Dressed in his long boots and a cowboy hat and everything about him spoke Texas. He was giving Loren bit too much attention and I was a bit uncomfortable. He was praising how well things were arranges, how good the food was. 
How good she was looking. Well, the night ended and we went home exhausted. Over the next few weeks, I saw some changes in Loren, she was more on her phone and even at home she was on her phone. She had a new TikTok account and had started to post videos on it. The videos were Loren working out and sharing her daily views on life and relationships. Her workout videos were drawing a lot of attentions. I have at times received compliments from several clients that I am a very lucky man. While I used to act that I am very happy but inside I felt very awkward. The comments on her videos were anything but decent. I did speak to her for the comments but she dismissed them. I tried to ignore them and moved on. I was too old for this nonsense. Loren now was spending a lot of time on her phone, even on our dinner nights where I used to dress nice for her. One fine day my elder son walked in my office and asked me to check her latest video. I was a bit taken aback and started the video. All women listening to this, you need to know your worth, you need to be great at what you do and also evaluate if you are getting your dues and are you getting what you want, it's important that you get what you want. If you are not getting it, it's time to fly and it's time to fly alone and alone you fly the highest. I did not understand, she has everything, money, family, house, everything. What else does she want? In the evening I did ask Loren, she said that she is a successful woman and wants to share her view with others. I explained that a lot of women would actually never get her message and just end up separating from their spouse. She again dismissed the topic. I was not happy and did tell her that this is not right and if she has any such issues, she can discuss. She dismissed and went to sleep. A few days later I saw a video where she was near a pool and dancing in a bikini. I called her immediately and asked to take down the video as I do not appreciate people watching my wife parading and dancing for the world. She tried to protest and I told her, there is no discussing this. The video has to be taken out. She reluctantly deleted it. A few minutes later a close friend shared a screenshot of my wife in bikini saying she is looking good. I had to block my friend and I was pissed off. I told my wife that such antics can be good for someone who is single or looking for attention by using her body. You are a talented and successful. You do not need to remove your clothes for attention. Your words are enough to captivate people. She heard me and did not speak to me that day. Two days later Loren told me that she needs to go to Austin, Texas as there is a conference and it is a good opportunity to expand business. I asked if I can come with her. She declined and stated that since our business is small, the organizers only offered one hotel room. I told her we can afford any hotel in Austin, we can go together. She stated that she needs to stay in the same hotel and connect with people. I reluctantly agreed. Loren went and I was able to see her sharing videos on her TikTok and Instagram. In one of the video, I saw that rich Texas guy and I was a bit surprised. I did not pay a lot of attention and left it there. I guess ignoring that was a mistake. Once Loren returned, she was a bit flashier and now her clothes were a bit shorter and revealing. I was a bit surprised and asked her about her clothes, she said it's just an upgrade. A few days later, there was a video that was doing rounds, where Loren is talking about marketing and how to use innovative strategies to one's advantage. What struck to me was that she was not representing our business, but it was the rich Texas guy's business. I immediately called Loren and asked her to explain. She said that she will come home and talk. I reached home and waited for Loren. She came in and sat down with me. 
She said that she wants to leave our business and join the Texas guy in his business as that is paying her a lot more than what we are making. Logically it was not a bad move as a professional but she was in a family business. This was her business. She stated that she has taken steps to move her part of the shares to her sons and will go to Texas and will keep visiting weekly. So, after listening to her, I asked about the company and her job description. It took me some time, but I understood that the business is not going to last long as there were a lot of loopholes in their operations and I pointed them out. It seems that she was getting upset and then I stopped. You see, I was not very happy to see her join someone else and I guess I am right to be upset. She got upset and it was at this moment I knew there is something wrong. She accused me to hold her back and how I never upgraded and how she can achieve more success and I am holding her back. I just walked out saying do what you please. I am not going to stop you now. Two days later Loren called the family over dinner. My sons were there and Loren then transferred her shares to my sons and then dropped the bombshell. She handed me divorce papers. The room fell silent. I took the papers. She did not want any alimony or any settlement. I was surprised and thought that it was extremely foolish and arrogant. I am not complaining. A few days later, we were divorced. It's not that my sons were happy, they did talk to her, but she was adamant. She moved to Austin, Texas, and back home I promoted a girl named Tanya to head the marketing department. Things did not change a lot as I did not lose money and I was in my own home and maybe now a bit free as well. My elder son met me a day later and showed me a video. Loren spoke as she was standing in a pool, in a bikini. We didn't have literally anything. He was very much the boss, controlled the finances, made all the decisions. When we were going to live together, when we were going to get married, he was the decision maker in all of those cases, and I didn't. I didn't really have enough confidence to make my own decisions at that time. What happened though was we got together and I started really helping him build a business that he had a license for but really wasn't doing anything and so I applied all of my marketing to his business. The business took off between marketing and his sales we skyrocketed we made a million dollars our first year we were the number one catering company in all of Las Vegas for decades. It was a really big deal but what happened was as that time went on, I started establishing myself I started building my own confidence, my own identity. Eventually we wound up getting into real estate and I became a teacher, trainer and started coaching and speaking on real estate and on marketing and then, that turned into me speaking about affiliate marketing and making six figures as an affiliate marketer. And then I'm on the stages and I'm writing books and I'm doing things like that and as I climb that social ladder, I don't know whatever you want to call it I think he struggled and I'll be really honest with you he didn't change. He didn't change at all I don't think in the entire 20 years he ever changed. He was the same guy he was when we met and that was that was a problem. I shut the video and stared at my son, he said that he loves me and knows that is bull crap. I had blocked Loren on all types of social media and from any contact list. A few months later, I got a call from an unknown number. I answered, it was Loren. She was crying and stated that she wants to come back home. I just hung up and blocked the number. A friend of mine later informed that Loren was having an affair with that rich Texas guy and he hired her just to have fun with her. There was no work for her in his company. As soon as he was done having fun, he dumped her. She is now searching for a job. I almost burst out laughing. That is what we call pump and dump. Like Jada Pinkett Smith her books flopped and no one wants them. I am not Will Smith to keep up with her nonsense cheating ways. Loren was stupid to leave and she even did not have any alimony and anything to fall back on. I never allowed her back in my life.
My elder son is getting married now and he does not plan to call her for his wedding. My younger son is also not willing to talk to her. I guess that is what you call F around and find out. I did not get into any more relationships and enjoy my free time with my old man smoking cigars. Dear listener, if you have reached this far please click on the subscribe button. It will be a great help.